I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Rude. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Look at this person's parking. Hashtag ugly truck, don't care. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Who has this sweet RV? Um, let's look at it. That layer of dust is begging for my that finger. That sounds creepy. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Why does she keep drawing those horrible poker faces? I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Why are you so mad? Oh, God. Yo, Max! Hey, check babe. Out. What's up? Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh, no that was problem. rude. He wanted a hug. Check I mean, she didn't owe him a hug, but still, Ooh, that was awkward. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. That's because she is condescending AF. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Because I learned today that I have the power to control time, and I saw somebody get shot, and I broke and entered in somebody's room, ruined a relationship, and found out a lot of tea from a lot of people. It's been a busy day. So we're going to tell you all about it. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life JT, changing. He looks kind of like JT from I've Degrassi. I've never had a dream so real it was like a movie. Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. 
You best tell me what you saw. Now. Um, I'm a... Answer me, Whoa, bitch. fella. We need to chill out with that. Um, what I was going to say before he decided to turn up all in my face... Anything to say, huh? ...was, um, that picture could have been put in that bathroom at any point in the day, because it was in there when he walked in, so it could have been there all day. Answer me, I'm gonna bitch. punch him in the face. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Should I say take a step back, or should I call the police? Um... You know what? Screw it. I ain't scared. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh! Are you serious? Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! So we just left my homeboy just by himself with a lunatic. Two lunatics, actually. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Um, let's placate her. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely. Out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy no. to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I wanted to. I'm sorry. There's really nothing you can say to your best friend that you haven't spoken to for five years who just saved you from getting beat down by a madman. So we're just going to apologize. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. That was a weak-ass excuse. Broken? Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max.
Home sweet home. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Sweet room, bro. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. AKA smoke the weeds. Um, what I was going to say was, um, I don't know if anybody else was like this, but I always felt really awkward going to people's house, like, after school, if they didn't ask their parents for permission first. Because I know how my mom was, as far as just having people in the house. So, when people just say, oh no, they don't care. Um, like, ah, uh, can you check, please? Because I don't want to get stabbed for coming into a house that I'm not wanted in. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Um, could be pictures, perhaps. I don't know. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Is that? Everybody lies, no exceptions. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Oh, look who's talking! Ooh. Fancy. Fancy. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Um, she's not into cleaning up, is she? Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. Says who? But she looks super happy. Of course. Of course. It's over here. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Miss you. Wish you were here, Rach. I love how she just goes through people's stuff while they're like right in the room with her. We had such a blast drawing these together. I'm sure. It's in the bag. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Of course it does. It's in the box! <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. 80 plus ABS? Really, Chloe? This is unacceptable. Oh, wow, she really didn't try. 13 tardies. Life skills fail. It's not... Break all her stuff. Is there a way to not break the snow globe? Or does she break it every time? Dude, you broke my I guess she breaks it every time. Oh, well. I guess we might as well just leave it up there then. Whatever. It's in the closet! Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Forks! What's in there? Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. You didn't recognize her at all, actually. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. There was something else down here. Oh, just a suitcase. Yeah, let's rummage through her trash, too. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. She sounds dumb as hell, just like you. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Apparently so. 
I think this junk swallowed her discs. Why does everybody in town have the same laptop, too? Like those old school Sony Vio looking things. There's a box over here that I could look through. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals so we're gonna secret. Say something to her first. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? Um party all night. Party all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. Oh, a read. You are rude. Hey, did you find the disc yet? Um, no. I haven't. So tell me. I take photos. Of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Oh, Max. Let's open the box. Rachel Amber, I had a big lesbian crush on you. Hey, give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over yeah. Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no Because you didn't call! Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. No, oh, that sucks. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you... And Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Max, you have a real knack for ruining people's day. Let's go back. I'm gonna see if I can be deductive in that conversation. Probably not, though. Probably not, though. I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. Oh, I thought I already had it. No, get out of the trash can. Oh, there it is. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she's Why can't a good I skip friend. this part? It's putting it mildly. Here we go. That's Rachel Amber. Yeah, I put them up. Man, I had... Well, you never made... I never... Rachel had my back. 
She looks... That was her plan. I guess there's no way to change it, so whatever. So what happened? My mom was too... Whatever. Never... Over Six it. Six months ago. How do you know she disappeared? Let's, let's Unlike, go. I believe... That's and the decision I probably should have like changed because life. I probably offended her when I said, well, how would you know? Whatever, she'll get over it. Buck up, buttercup. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay, bye. I see that Illuminati over there, Satan. Time to go rummage through their stuff. Hashtag busybody. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. Whoa, dark. I cannot see Turn anything. on the lights then, you buffoon. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Oh, she's such a hipster. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. What are they? I'm not a pharmacist, so I can't really tell. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of oh, me. No, 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 no. Is it in the shower? No. Alright, let's go. Oh, turn the light back off. Don't be rude. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. You chose to come back home, though. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see Let's why. Let's do door number one. Oh! This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Jeez. Oh, Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Okay. Open the window. Oh, it didn't die. Where is it at? No, it's in there in the way. Can I take a picture of it? You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Plan God, Max. This is gonna have an adverse effect. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Is there porn in here? Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Hmm. They need to, to put their, to fix their clock. All right, what else is in this bedroom? Let's look in the closet. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Mm. Jerry. Oh my, Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would Do keep you? it. This on the, on the desk. Uh oh. The prices are late on their bill. David Madsen! Her stepdad is that awful guy from school. Uh oh. No, um, the it's prices are late at the on their picture. bills. It says, look at the photo. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Are we all. pretending that we don't know who he is? I guess so. Rummage through all the things. 
all of the things. Let's walk a little bit faster. All the things. Let's look at their mail. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these That's days. That's because they're the Madsen family. What's in this door? Nope. Someone locked it from Shady. the inside. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. You, she, Not she so doesn't much seem to be anymore. smiling in that photo. You're welcome, girl. Ooh, the answering machine. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Okay. Let's have a snack. Or we'll watch TV. They need to get an HD antenna. Alright, let's see what else is in the kitchen. Now I like it better in the dark. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get a to read. Portland. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. All right, what else is going on? Do I need to save any more birds? Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Hmm. Can you go outside? Oh. Brr. I can feel Autumn pushing out the summer. Oh, this must be the dad on our dog. We made this grave for Chloe's oh, kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Stop living in the past. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. The more I kind of hear about their friendship and stuff, the more I like also dislike Max again. Because there's really no excuse for you to leave for five years and not talk to your best friend who clearly like thinks the sun shines out of your butt. Oh, what's this? Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a Maybe pirate Maybe Joyce shouldn't leave like her right wine now. on the floor. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink oh, first, Max. Oh, there you go. I guess that's why. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? 
My parents are coming. Cover it up. Didn't think that one through, did you, girls? Did ya? I should be able to find the tools I need here. Well, let's get to looking. Maybe the laptop will know. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Um, let's open this. Snacks, corned beef. I wonder what's in those files up there. Let's look. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Oh, wow. Oh, he's been, like, stalking her hardcore. I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. Why does David have them? Because he's a psycho. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Or a lunatic. Cool. Now it's opened. Cool. Close it back. Because he seems like the kind of psycho that would have an issue with that. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that Okay, camera. we'll find you your tiny tools. Oh, what's this? Let's have a look. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder Please why. cameras. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For, For reals. This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about mm, this? Scurry. Some scurry stuff. Close that. Close it. Close it. Girl, do you want to get murdered? Stop. These I mean, are no. way too I need you to close that cabinet. There we go. Because he seems like the type that will know. Yes. Score. Why is she so hype? Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Not packing heat, though. There's a door back there. That's a little bit scary. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Hmm. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid He's a get. lunatic, duh! Like, I don't understand why we're so confused. Tools. Boom. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Genius. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Why can't you reach it? Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Man, I should have done that before. Oh, though. well, you ain't said nothing but a word, girl. Can totes make that happen? All right. Turn that off. All right, get my tools. Yes, you have mad skills, Let's Max. Let's leave everything exactly as it was so that this madman does not come at us with murder. I've got the tools. 
I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Oh, I was like trying to walk up the stairs, ignoring the fact that it says go upstairs right there in my face. Did I turn the light off in here? I could have sworn I did. Hey girl, hey. Sup that. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Okay. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally There's no sense. way that she should have pieced that together because she was not looking at that butterfly when she was trying Don't not to get murdered. Marks. There's absolutely no way for her to have known that. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a little bit. Just a bit? There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? I wanted to. What if he goes on some rampage? Nathan fronts like a thug, but he's a spoiled punk-ass biatch. <laughs> he would have shot you, Chloe. That's a fact. I should tell the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. I keep forgetting that I turned the music <laughs> off, so I'm like, what is she doing? Oh, Jesus. Be a fence, girl. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Rock out with your cock out. Yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, uh, you go there? Yo, turn awkward. it off, turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even no, on. No, it never was. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds oh, you Oh, snaps. Again. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place the, to hide The closet. Now. Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just Girl. let me in. Now. Move the 
freaking lamp. Oh, you're stalling. The I'm room changing. essentials Give me lamp. A Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Um... Let's... Step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, don't do you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. Don't put your hands on me. You don't have any oh. friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Girl! Hey, Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not sister. even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. She is all the way turned up. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while. What's the problem? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that, I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max, but I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Can you actually use it? After about a hundred online videos? Hell yeah. Just don't keep it in your pants, okay? Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and go. Um, I don't know necessarily if these were the best decisions to make, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with them. Chloe seems a bit on edge. And she has a gun, so I don't really want to mess with her with that right now. Maybe later they'll let us come back and talk about it again. But for right now, I'm just going to let her do her. Um, that is two instances where I feel like I could lose my scholarship. So it's probably like a st three strikes, you're out kind of thing. And I'm two strikes in, and I just started. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was because just Because this is here? where the raging tornado of death from the beginning was. Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again.
What does kick mean? Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Is the death skull on here still? It is. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Exploring. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Are you serious? What's this? Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? A chimera. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. How long has that been here? Listen, that is sound advice. Never trust anyone, apparently. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Sup, that? Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home. I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams. What about that? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Um, how much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan... He dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even You sound speak. furious. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. 
Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Why was that one line of dialogue different than the rest? This shit pit has taken away everyone Why does it I've look ever like loved. This now? I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. the way. Can you not tree? Settle down tree. I'm trying to get around. Bambi, I need your help. Bambi, are you leading the way? Where are we going? Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Oh, shit! Jesus Christ! I guess I have to get over there before it the lighthouse falls over and crushes my skull. Now's not the time for current events! October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away! Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else Debatable. I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the Snow. hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. This doesn't make any sense. Does it often snow before a tornado in the middle of summer at 80 degrees? I don't understand. 
I don't understand at all. But I'm assuming this is going to wrap up the end of the first episode of Life is Strange. Oh, look, there's Joyce. Um, I feel like I made some wrong decisions at some point, but we are going to have to live with them because that's life. I think that I had a good time. I don't think I know. I had a good time. It was fun. Um, It was a little long. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, she's crying. Poor poor Kate Marsh. I, I would cry too if somebody was harassing me all the time. And he must be Chloe's dealer. Anyways, like I was saying, I had a good time. It was fun. I can't wait for the next episode to come out. Look at her being a hater. Uh, Be on the lookout for more of the Game of Thrones and some other little projects that I'm going to start working on here in the soon future. So, as this uh, video thingy comes to a close, I will allow us to bask in the silence of this video because I'm sure there's supposed to be music playing but I turned it off. Who's that? Is that Nathan? Who is this kid? Looks like Nathan. Is he going to start taking pics? Taking nudes? Some dick pics for the masses? Rachel. Oh, that must have been crazy files on everybody. He probably kidnapped her and murdered her. Yeah, we're going to skip the credits. Okay, let's look at our choices. Uh, you hid the truth, you reported Nathan. I was in the, in the um, minority on that. I was in the majority on comforting uh, Victoria. I intervened in the majority. I came out of hiding to intervene. That one's pretty good split. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go through all these things. But yeah, go me. That was awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys slay the day because it's okay, and I will see you all later. That's intense.